the last few weeks have dramatically changed the news that reach international business decision makers from China. From growth figures at the beginning of the year and uh, tugs of control between Beijing authorities and tech companies, business updates from the country rapidly plunged into closed factories, stranded foreigners and the virtual impossibility of traveling in and out of the country, boiling down to a new surge of COVID-19 cases and the resulting lockdowns primarily in the nation's powerhouse Shanghai. Shanghai has long hosted a significant proportion of China's expat population and even in late 2020 and the year 2021 I helped many expat managers to relocate there, overcome the cultural, political and managerial challenges that they would face there and get down to serious business. After all, China still remains a primary investment and operational destination for global multinationals. But since mid-March, foreigners in China suddenly faced a challenge that they were simply not prepared for. Ordered to remain in their apartments for weeks, complying with several daily COVID tests and often running low on food, medicine and other necessities, expat families are now wondering, very often out loud, if Shanghai will ever recover as mainland China's most foreigner-friendly city. As it creates a significant proportion of the country's GDP, attention on Shanghai has also been intensive from the outside world. So the opinions of the city's residents spread faster, farther and wider than most news from China. The status of foreigners in China is a long story that I cannot go into right now, but in the description of this video, you will find links to my other videos about the demographics, challenges and pleasures of being an expat in China, mostly from the managerial point of view. I got a good response to these speeches and webinars, mostly because in general it's very hard to get reliable information from China on a long list of issues and expat life is definitely one of them. Most of what has reached the world about the impact of these latest lockdowns in Shanghai on foreigners living in China were either personal monologues about the experience of unpredictable confinement or somewhat sensational footage by media, hazmat suited attendants, loud speaking drones and the like. But a few days ago, the owner of the startup Bon App posted an interesting survey regarding the morale of Shanghai's expat community. A direct link to the survey can also be found in the description of this video, so if you would rather read than listen and watch, then feel free to click through. For those of you who stay, I am going to present the main findings of this survey and also what's the best way to understand them in context. You see, surveys are not about the future. They reflect the subjective opinions of the people who contribute their responses. The first glimpse at the survey is indeed bleak. It shows that nearly three quarters of respondents plan to leave China sooner or later. But at this point, it is important to put ourselves into the shoes of foreign families in Shanghai, locked down for weeks in a country whose language most don't speak and definitely don't read and consequently unsure about what on earth is going on and when will it end. It's also very important to understand why these people chose to be in Shanghai in the first place. Most survey respondents are employed rather than self-employed or retired or just happily spending their savings as many foreigners do in places like Portugal or the Philippines. That means that as COVID measures harden and factories, offices, banks, restaurants and so forth stay closed, their very reason to be there fades away. The multinational firms that employ them also become frustrated and consider withdrawing some of their investment. Those who do will take most of their foreign employees and their families with them. Life circumstances are also important. Most responders are in their prime years and have little patience with a place where the pandemic drags on while their home countries and alternative expat destinations in the world start opening up and promising 
better job opportunities. Finally, it's important to see where people are from. Traditionally, China's expat population has been split fairly evenly between East and West. But during the pandemic, Asian expats returned to their home countries relatively quicker than Westerners. Because South Korea and Japan, the top two nationalities represented, were similarly safe as China, while Europe and North America struggled with much higher levels of infections. Now that the situation is reversed, few expats will see China as a mid-term safe haven from COVID-19. It's important to remember that those who plan to leave right now will not necessarily be able to do so. It's nearly impossible to find a flight out of China right now, and expats who do find a way out often find it hard to find a job with the same level of pay, job satisfaction and responsibility as they are used to in China. Neither is it guaranteed that those who want to stay will be able to do so. Most foreigners I know who left in 2020 had long-term plans in the country. For this reason, view this report as a mood indicator, a kind of opinion poll, rather than a prediction. Having said that, I think it's a great insight into the psyche of a currently isolated but extremely important group of people, expats in China, and we must thank the good people of Bonn App and everybody who filled out the survey for that. They certainly had much more pressing problems to worry about while they did it. Let me know what you think and if you need any help understanding and engaging China as a business destination. Thank you.